Dodger Stadium is one of the most iconic baseball stadiums out there. To take advantage of this great fan experience, I suggest you come in a little early. About two hours early before the game, doors open. So come along with me on this Fernando Valenzuela bobblehead night to explore some of my favorite things to do at Dodger Stadium prior to the game. As you make your way in through the stadium from right field or left field pavilion, you get hit with the bar. A bar and nothing but good vibes around the bar. This is usually where the hardcore fans hang out. And trust me, you'll know. Right beneath the bar, you have your bullpens. And your bullpens, if you're lucky enough, you'll get to see your starters warm up. As you make your way into the stands, you get hit with an amazing view. This is definitely my favorite part of the day. Not only do you get to see your favorite players on the field, but you also get to have a good time with other fans that are there just for the exact same reason. And that's to have a good time. Batting practice ends one hour prior to first pitch. So you have enough time to go explore the park. The Dodgers have done a really good job spreading around all the trophies and memorabilia across the park. The area behind the pavilion section has brought more foot traffic on this side of town. And the best part is that you don't have to have tickets in the pavilion section in order for you to be back here. This is also the designated area for the Spectrum Sportsnet Alley pregame and postgame live shows. That's probably the best chance you got to be on TV during the game or to see past or current baseball players. Now let's make our way through the field levels. One of the things you gotta have when you come to Dodger Stadium is definitely a Dodger dog. The view from the field level is amazing. You get to see up close in person players with their families, with their friends. On this night, we got to see Kershaw with the sun and Chase Utley made an appearance. Right behind home plate, we take the escalator up into the press boxes and the suite city. As soon as we went up, we met Jose Mota. Jose Mota is son to the great Dodger legend, Manny Mota. And he gets the broadcast alongside with the legendary Fernando Valenzuela in the Spanish network. In that same floor, they have a store where you can actually buy souvenirs from actual either game-worn jerseys or balls that were used in games and they're signed by these players. So once I monetize my YouTube channel here, I would want to get items from this store and give them out to fans and followers as giveaways. More like a giving back to my community type of thing. This store is really cool though because they have actual bases, they have bats, they have helmets, jerseys, pictures, you name it, they have it. Right next door is Vince Scully's press box. If I'm not mistaken, the only way to get in is via the tour. Right outside the press box is a whole section dedicated just to Vince Scully. This floor brings back a lot of memories from Vince Scully, a lot of stories. And if you're a Dodger fan, I know you heard plenty of them. So many things from the past here, like the old lockers, Fernando Valenzuela's cereal box, their old warm-up uniforms, their champagne, their mugs. This one's pretty cool. This is the luggages that they would take on the buses or on the planes when they would travel. This is another majestic view. This is from the reserve section, and this section's pretty cool. They have a lot of food sections outside, a little park for the kids, bobbleheads all over around, just plenty to do out there. And here we have this little wooden bat. So I decided that every city of my visit, I will be getting a wooden bat. I'm also gonna be trying loaded nachos from every stadium because I'm nacho classic baseball YouTuber. I don't like the glizzies, I like the nachos. And you can't forget the brew. Then it was game time. Tony Goslin's first pitch of the game got hit by Tovar for a home run in the very first inning. The Rockies lead didn't last that long. Will Smith hit a home run in the bottom of the first inning to tie the game. Sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the roses for a little bit, enjoy life. But before we go, I have one more thing to show you guys. I just had to make a quick pit stop to see Vessia. He's one of my favorite players right now. As we make our way back into right field, from center field, there's a little area for the kids where they can play and run around. Now this, this is what I'm talking about right here. So I was checking out this trophy case and, and checking out Tommy Lasorda's old stuff. And suddenly I saw someone pop out of the wall. I mean, not literally, but I didn't even realize there was a door there. Apparently that's a speakeasy bar. And the only way to get in, unfortunately, is if you have season tickets. 
And don't forget to check out the ultimate bobblehead collection, which is located on the field level. It includes not only Dodger players, but other teams' bobbleheads. It's pretty cool. Dodgers ended up winning four to one to stay on top of the NL West. And that's gonna do it for my video, guys. Thank you for checking it out. Subscribe, peace and love. Y fuga a Los Angeles.